Welcome back guys, Dalton Smith from MPI Productions and today we're going to be talking to you about the GoPro and the settings that you can use, the different frame rates, the field of vision and all these different options that you have to get very different looks with your GoPro and we're also going to show you how you can mount it and use these different options to work in your benefit with your slide handboard. First and foremost, the GoPro is very user friendly in the sense that it's mostly automatic as far as lighting adjustments, focus adjustments, so once you have your you know, base settings established, you don't have to worry about much. So my job today is to explain to you how you can get the certain looks that we get for the slow motion or the really wide angle shots. You need to manipulate the camera in different ways to get these looks. So what we've done is we've broken everything down and made a nice graph so it's really easy for you to understand these settings. All right, so we've got it broken down into three sections here. We've got our frames per second, our field of vision, and our resolution. This is the three settings that's going to completely shape the look of your shots. First, let's go ahead and talk about frames per second. Frames per second is basically saying this is how many photos are being stitched together per second to create the video. The more frames per second, the smoother your slow motion will be. So if we have a video that's shooting in 24 frames per second and we try to slow that down, it's stretching those frames out. If we shoot in 120 frames per second in comparison, it has, you know, we're talking five, six times the amount of frames and it makes it so you can have these really smooth slow motion shots. Next is gonna be our field of vision. This is what we're seeing. Imagine an eye, and if you could adjust the eye and how wide or narrow we could see, that's what the setting is going to be adjusting. First, we're gonna talk about narrow. This is a very zoomed in shot. I would compare it to about that of a 35 millimeter lens on a crop sensor DSLR. It's very zoomed in, and it can be beneficial if you're shooting something further away or if you just want to get rid of that GoPro look, that fisheye wide angle, you can change it to get this more zoomed in look. Next we have medium and medium is medium. It's somewhere in the middle. It's not narrow so it's not super zoomed in but it's definitely not that GoPro wide angle that we're used to but it's you know a sweet spot in between and you may find you know some use for it when you're doing different shots. Next is wide. This is your classic GoPro wide angle. If you've seen the commercials, if you've seen different people doing surfing, whatever, this is the setting that they are almost always using. Lastly, this is honestly one of the settings I use the most with the slide hand boards is super view. And the reason I use it a lot with the slide hand boards is I'm filming myself and the boards are very close to my body. So super view is basically super wide. It's almost double as wide as the standard wide angle. For all of these different fields of vision, we've drawn a picture. As you can see, the narrow is very zoomed in. The medium is a little bit more brought out. The wide angle is wide and it's also kind of got that curvature. You're going to notice that if you're shooting the ocean, the horizon is going to be a little bit bent because it's so wide angle. And then your super view, it's almost like a fishbowl. It's very wide and very weird, but sometimes for selfie poles and things of that nature, I use it with my dummy mount in my mouth for point of view. It's really great to get that perspective of what you're seeing and experiencing. Lastly, we're gonna talk about resolution. Resolution is basically your quality. When you change this resolution, different things can happen, but most importantly, the lower the resolution, the lower the quality. The higher resolution, the higher the quality. Now that we've broken down the three of these, it's important to understand how they all correlate together. So for an example, let's say I wanna shoot a super slow motion shot, as slow as I can go. Well, my option would be 720, up to 240 frames per second. That 240 frames per second is just gonna be incredible slow motion. So for me, the best option for slow motion purposes is going to be our 1080 at 120 frames per second. It's going to be wide angle, it's going to be high resolution, it's 1080 HD, and it's 120 frames per second, which is awesome slow motion. So we'll show you guys a couple examples. If you take a 24 frame per second video clip and slow it down, it looks very choppy. If you take a 240 frame per second clip, it looks just unbelievably smooth and nice and buttery like you want it to. So I wanna talk about the correlation in between these two numbers right here, our frame rate and our resolution. If we're shooting in 4K, our maximum frame rate is only gonna be 30 frames per second. But if we back our quality down to 2K, then we can shoot up to 60 frames per second. And what that means is we're getting double the frame. So you can do a nice, decent slow motion with 2K, but you can't really do that with that lower frames per second on the 4K. Essentially, you're gonna have to shoot yourself in the foot at one point or another. You're gonna have to ask yourself what's more important, quality 
as far as your you know, visual resolution or frames per second. Are you trying to shoot slow motion? If you're out and you're trying to shoot slow motion, you know, you're going to have to maybe sacrifice that quality. But if you're shooting an interview or you're shooting something that doesn't need that super slow motion, I would say stay up with the higher quality. For me, I find 1080 to be the most used because I like the higher frame rates. But if I'm out shooting and I know for a fact I'm not going to slow it down, I shoot in 4K. And I prefer to shoot in 4K at 24 frames per second. It has 24 and 30 frames per second. Are you going to see much of a difference between those two? Not really. It's going to be a little jumpier, but almost in a good way. It gives it a very cinematic feel when you shoot at 24 frames per second. So as we move down the list, we're going to lower our quality, but we're going to raise our frame rate. So that is kind of the correlation that you can play out in your head. Lighting is key for not only your quality, but your frame rate. If you want to shoot a high frame rate, like 120 or 240 frames per second, you absolutely need good lighting. Next, we're going to jump back over to the field of vision. This is where things get a little bit trickier. Basically, what happens is when you change from narrow to medium to wide to super view, you are either adding or removing possibilities for frame rates. What I mean by that is if you want to shoot 120 frames per second in 1080, you can. You can shoot 1080 at 120 frames per second in a wide field of vision. However, if you change your field of vision to 1080 at super view, you cannot shoot 120 frames anymore. It only limits you to 80 frames per second. So you're losing 40 frames per second, which is substantial. It's a lot of you know, frames and potential slow motion you're losing. So you're gonna have to play with these settings. First, I would set your resolution. Ask yourself, what am I doing today? I'm going to go ride my slide handboard. I want to shoot in the highest quality possible no matter what. You're gonna shoot in 4K. Next, you're gonna ask yourself, what field of vision is going to be the most beneficial? I would say wide angle or super view. If it was me, I'd say super view because it's going to make it look really wide and get the entire wave and my entire body. So we've now decided we want to shoot at 4K at super view. Our only options in 4K at super view is 24 frames per second. That's it. You can't shoot 30 frames per second, 60. You only have 24 frames per second. Let's say you're like, oh man, you know, I really want to shoot the super view, but I really want some extra frames per second for slow motion. You can bring your resolution from 4K down to 1080, and you can shoot 1080 in super view at 80 frames per second. One last thing I wanted to know is that these settings are for the GoPro Hero 4 Black. If you're shooting with a GoPro Hero 4 Silver, or White, or a 3 Plus Black, or a 2, or a 1, your options are not going to look the same. For example, the Hero 3, I want to say its maximum was 120 frames per second. It didn't even do the 240. You know, I may stand corrected on that, but it definitely wasn't the same frame rates at the same resolution. So if you have a different camera, don't worry. This all still applies to you, but it's going to be different numbers. So the last thing I'm going to do is show you how to make these adjustments in the camera. We've got our GoPro Hero 4 Black. Unfortunately, we've crushed the front display screen, so we have the LCD backpack on. And and we're gonna just go through and show you how you can change your frame rate, your field of vision, and your resolution. Okay, so here we have our GoPro Hero 4 black camera. And as I mentioned, we have the LCD screen attached to the back. So it's gonna be a little bit different if you're using the front screen, but the settings are all gonna be the same. So we're gonna swipe down, unlock the camera, and then we're gonna swipe up. And then now we have all our options for our GoPro. As you can see, we've got resolution, frames per second, and field of view, the three things that we just went over. So first we're going to do the resolution. We're going to click on here, and it's going to give us all our options. So we're going to go ahead and click on 4K. This is our highest resolution. Then we're going to go to our frames per second. And as you can see, all we've got is 24 and 30. So we'll go ahead and just stick with 30. Next we're going to go down, and we're going to go to our field of view. We only have wide as an option. So we're gonna go back and say, you know what? I wanna shoot a different, I wanna shoot a different field of vision. We're gonna go back to our resolution and we're gonna click on, let's do 1080 at super view. So now we're shooting that super wide angle shot and we have the ability to go into our frames per second and move it all the way up to 80. So now we're shooting 1080 at HD 
We're shooting super view so it's nice and wide and we're shooting at 80 frames per second so it's going to be great for slow motion. So that's how you change those three settings and we'll show you one more. We'll go ahead and go into 1080. We'll go all the way down to 720 and then now we're going to have that awesome option of 240 frames per second. So that's how we change our different settings. Like I said, sometimes you're limited. Example, we only have narrow as an option here. So you'll have to play with your settings and look at the different things that you have available for your camera and the frame rates and the different resolutions. Okay, so that's pretty much a wrap talking about the different settings for the GoPro. Remember these three things whenever you're deciding what shot you want and you'll be able to come up with the best shot for each situation every single time. So that's it guys, I hope you guys found this super informative. If you have any questions at all regarding the GoPro, the settings, or maybe you have a different GoPro and you're not quite sure about what options are available for you, send us a message, send us an email, we'll make sure you guys are set up and we'll get you out there and get in some sick shots. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, we'll see you next time.